The Daily Nexus actually began as a newspaper called The Roadrunner in 1931, uh, and that was when uh, UC Santa Barbara was actually um, Santa Barbara State Normal School. Um, it became the Daily Nexus in 1971 after the uh, burning of the Bank of America. It came from a uh, quote from a guy named Robert Maynard Hutchins who said that a uh, free press is the nexus of any democracy. Without it, there would not be freedom of speech on campus, really. I mean, if you were to not have peer-to-peer -peer content and you just have content like by administration, then it would eliminate the ability for students to have their unadulterated, raw um, student voice. Um, so I think in like the digital age, you know, we spend so much time looking at our phones instead of other people's faces, and maybe this doesn't really apply with a newspaper that is turning into a web publication, but uh, I think it's really important that we find ways to communicate, and one great way to do it is to tweet about the things that are important on our campus, and the Nexus provides a lot of opportunities for people to tweet those things or to Facebook share them if they want to. You know, payroll, to writing, to designing, to uh, web development of the website, to social media, um, literally every aspect of Daily Nexus editorial is completely student run and that's also why it's, it's important because it's for the students and by the students. Students' votes matter because without students' votes that we can't continue to operate. Um, the Nexus is, is an institution that predates the university itself. Uh, so, I mean, students' votes matter because if, if students don't vote for us, we can't continue to do our jobs.